Hey guys, Iceman here. Maverick. Welcome to Axis RV's Top Gun Safety Video. When it comes to RVing, you don't need to be the best of the best, but we'll make you better. The best way we can do this is going to be from the cockpit. Let's go. Be aware of your height, 12 feet and 6 inches high, so make sure you know your RV is cleared from awnings, around parking spaces and bridges before proceeding. Watch the birdie! Jeez, I cracked myself up. Spencer? You stink! Next thing to be careful for is your side swing, especially in tight places like a gas station. Since the pivot point is the rear wheels, the rest of the body swings out. You also want to keep this in mind on the road. You want to take extra wide turns to avoid street corners and signs. You also want to be mindful of cars and your extra large blind spot right next to you. Steering and driving will take a bit to get used to. I feel the road is much more sensitive since the wheelbase and steering column are much longer. You've seen this before. It's going to be louder and shakier than driving a regular car. I know, sir. Just don't hold on too tight. It was the edge. Flat tires are an important subject and need to be handled differently in large vehicles like an RV. Believe it or not, you need to accelerate if one of your front tires goes flat. This is because when your front tire loses air, the steering wheel is going to want to pull in that direction. If you don't compensate, you're likely to lose control of the RV. The same concept when a gust of wind hits you from the side. The physics are the same as well as in that you want to accelerate when that happens. The best two things you can do to maintain control is to stay slow. Do not feel the need. The, the need, need for speed. Ow! Staying at a slower speed and being able to increase your speed puts you in more control. You are never clear you're going faster than you need to. Dad, go! Even though we check the treads and the tire pressure before every trip, the, the debris on the tires... <laughs> <laughs> That's the one part we didn't practice! <laughs> hey, can we, can we edit Let's it? Just, yeah, just try to resume your same position. Did you move a lot, Andy? No. Even though we check the tire treads and pressure before every trip, flat tires from road debris is always a possibility. Seatbelts while traveling. When you're in the back of the vehicle, the law requires that everyone buckles up. Not buckling up is letting your ego write checks that your body can't cash. Every time you stand up in an RV, you are unsafe. People don't like it because it's dangerous. That's right! Ice. Man. It is dangerous. Whenever you're maneuvering the RV into smaller spaces, you should always have a spotter. Spotters should try to be audible and use hand signals. Have an understanding of what hand signals and phrases you use for maximum safety. Keep an eye on the spotter at all times as much as possible. They have the best view of where you're going. Talk to me, Goose. Talk to me. You! You are still dangerous. I'll be your spider anytime. Baloney. I can be yours. Some of this stuff is common safety knowledge. Just remember to take extra precaution and you'll be safe at all times. Now that you watch this video, 
you are now part of the top 1% of RVers. The elite. Best of the best. This trip is what you were trained for. Make us proud.